A local nurse who helped patients overcome COVID-19 throughout the pandemic is now fighting her own health battle. As News Channel 5 Cena Slim reports, the 27 year old was recently diagnosed with a rare form of cancer, but with family and friends by her side, she's determined to beat it. As a Vanderbilt ICU nurse, 27 year old Rachel Dill is used to being there for her patients ups and downs, but she says nothing can prepare you for working the front lines throughout the pandemic. Pandemic has been super hectic, kind of like taking on double the amount of seeing people at their worst. Now we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, but for Rachel's battle, it's just the beginning. It would just be like a crushing feeling. Last month, she was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. I've actually been having like abdominal pain since 2018. It starts as like an inflammatory process um, and then over time develops into cancer. She's getting ready to start facing treatments of her own. Yeah, I'm like not afraid of like the needles and stuff like that. I think it's just so much of the unknown. In order to beat the cancer, she will have to undergo several aggressive treatments. She will start chemo next week for about 21 weeks. So it's this big abdominal surgery that's supposed to help with the chemo in your belly. Rachel says the next year will be tough. And I'll be in the ICU for like two to four weeks, they say, just for like recovery. And I'll probably do some sort of like rehab, just like for strength. But she knows she can get through it with family by her side. That's really what's keeping me going right now. After all, as a nurse, she's used to being a cheerleader for others. Now they're being a cheerleader for her. Knowing like, there's going to be good and bad days because I've seen it with other patients. I think um, I've been able to kind of like cope with them. So I've learned a bunch of different coping mechanisms. Sina Sleem, News Channel 5. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help Rachel with medical expenses and her recovery. You can go to our website for more details.